guys want to see something disgusting? <laughs> Looks like poop. <laughs> Welcome back to another video. This week I am obviously finishing off my Marjorie Tyrell costume that I was attempting to make in two weeks and spoiler alert, I guess I made it. So without any further ado, let's dive on in. Hello, so it is Monday, which is day one of the second week of making my Marjorie Tyrell costume. Today was all about preparation. The first thing I did this morning was walk down to the library because I found out they had a 3D printing service there. So I've got the necklace and the crown currently printing at the library in town. So hopefully that should be done by the end of the week. And so the next step now is painting. I have a bunch of flower beads that I need painted silver. And I also need to weather up the silver leather cord that I brought to do the vines from because at the moment they're pretty stark silver and I need them to be a bit more of a blackened silver. So yeah, painting. Let's get into it. Alrighty, to make the leaves for this costume, I have this white leather here, which I'm just cutting a chunk off of and then spray painting silver. I then use the same silver spray paint to cover the flowers. Now to blacken up the vines, all I did was get some black acrylic paint and then just massage it into the vines itself. Looks a little bit different now, doesn't it? I'm very much running out of room to work on this dress in here, but I also refuse to take it outside because it's freezing and I've just washed my hair and that'll make it extra freezing. So we're going to struggle in here for a little bit. <laughs> yeah. Oh no. Keep those in there. Let's start putting on some vines. I placed the vines entirely by eye. I just kept referencing a reference image to make sure that they at least kind of matched up to where they were. I really did forget just how time consuming this is. What am I thinking? Two weeks. Ugh. Right. To the front. I just noticed that one of the strands that hangs down in the front here isn't actually made out of this braided leather cord that the rest of them is. There's a couple of them just here which are made out of like a fabric looking thing. So I went and grabbed some fabric looking thing from Arthur's and luckily they had something that was pretty damn close to what appears to be in the pictures. Anyway, back to pinning on vines. All right, I think I have enough vines on here for now. I'm going to start hand sewing them all down, seeing how it looks I'm going from there. One down, a billion more to go, <laughs> yay! Hello, so it is day three of working on the decorations for Marjorie. Last night I stayed up and managed to get all of the vines sewn on while watching multiple episodes of Gilmore Girls. If I love anywhere. So that was a blast. So today's job is going to be... Cutting out the leather leaves and gluing those to the dress. And remember all those flowers we painted silver? I now also have to go in with the black paint and do exactly what I did to the silver cord just to make them less bright silver. This is still doable. I got this.
Fun fact, although you see me gluing the thorn beads onto the dress hair, I actually do go back in the future and hand sew these all in place because they ended up popping off. I just found these leaves from the first time I attempted to make this Marjorie costume and I thought it could do with being a little bit more fluffier in this area so I'm going to add some of these to it as well. Day four. I'm tired. This has been a lot of hard work. The leaves and the thorns are pretty much done so today Starting on the roses, I know it's going to take me forever because it took me three days last time I did this. Definitely questioning my sanity at this point. But it's going to be worth it because like a cool photo at the end of it, right? <laughs> to make the roses, I cut out a whole bunch of rectangles from leftover scrap pieces of the fabric. And I mean, there were a lot of rectangles cut out. I then folded each of those rectangles in half and then sewed the ends closed. Once all the rectangles were sewn, I then used some pinking shears and trimmed away the excess fabric, turned them right way out, folded them in half and ironed them flat. Hello, so it is day five of doing the decorations on Marjorie's dress. Today is Rose Day. I'm going to try and get as much of the rose is done as possible. Let's get into it. Alrighty, so I just did a little experiment with the roses. Um, this is a hand gathered one and as you can see it looks a bit more carnation-y or open rose which is not exactly the look I'm going for. This one I did on my machine. It's much more of a tight rolled closed looking rose which is exactly what I'm going to do and honest to god I am so thankful that the machine rose looks better than the hand rolled one because this would have taken me like honest to god about a week to do all of them like this so very thankful that the machine one is what i'm going to go for so each of those rectangles i prepped the day before i then run through my machine using a gathering stitch but because the fabric was so thick it didn't gather them so i then have to sit there and gather them all by hand So uh, that's the first batch done, and as you can tell by the size of my hand, nowhere near enough. Oh dear. I didn't have enough fabric! <laughs> so as you can see, here's the roses. This is like six hours worth of work. Honestly, it's probably less than half of what I need to cover the train on the back. So what am I going to do about it? I am currently going to go walk into town. I'm going to go to the fabric store and look for fabric in the shades of blue, brown, grey that I can make more roses with. Stuff that isn't thermal lined curtain fabric that will actually gather on my machine because as you've seen in all the time lapse montages, I've had to sit there and pull all the strings on this and gather each individual rose by hand, which is not ideal and is taking forever. So yeah, I'm going to get something that will work in my gathering foot so that the machine does the gathering for me and then all I have to do is just stick them onto the dress. So it is day six of making Marjorie's dress. I have a whole production line going today. I'm working on my machine here sewing. And then over here, I've roped my husband into cutting out the rose strips for me. Mm. And we had to go get him special left-handed scissors because you weren't having a good time with my ones, were you? No, 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 no. <laughs> So he's, cut, he's cutting out the strips just here. And then if we come out here, what are you doing? <laughs> Dobby is a free elf. <laughs> Dobby has no master. Mum is ironing the strips for me after I've sewn them. Very good. So here is a whole box full of roses. All I have to do now is glue them onto the back of the dress. So that whole box full. It wasn't enough. 
I needed the flowers to come up to at least here and probably about here on the train. And as you can see, it didn't quite make it. So nothing's open today in town. So I'm gonna have to wait until tomorrow to go and get some more fabric to make more flowers. So fingers crossed this actually gets finished tomorrow. It's done, yay! <laughs> and technically, because I started halfway through the first week, because the pattern took so long to arrive, and now I've finished halfway through the third week, I technically got this done in two weeks. <laughs> so, um, what am I talking about? Let's go try it on. And there you have it. I can't believe I actually did it. I managed to make Marjorie Tyrell's wedding dress in two weeks. <laughs> I'm just as surprised as you are. <laughs> first things first, I just want to mention, obviously this is the evening star from Lord of the Rings and I am missing a crown. And that is because I thought two weeks would be more than enough time to get those pieces 3D printed and unfortunately it was not and I'm still waiting on them so fingers crossed they get here before I actually go to the convention next weekend. So what do I actually like about this costume? I got it done in the time frame I set myself. I'm really happy with how all the vines and the thorns came out on this one. I think they turned out amazingly well. All right I guess on to things I'm not happy with then. I hate the fabric. It's curtain fabric. I knew it was going to be a problem going into it, working with it because it's so stiff. It doesn't drape nicely. And I mean, that's exactly what we've got going on here. I don't think it drapes that well. It's very, you know, just straight out. I don't think it looks as nice as my old one. Secondly, hot glue everywhere. This whole dress is covered in it. I didn't want to use it, but unfortunately due to the time constraints, I really had no other option. I mean, could you imagine how long it would have taken me to sew all of those roses on the train? I would have been here for weeks, months even. <laughs> Finally, onto things that I can fix before next weekend, the wig. It obviously needs some cutting in the back. It's very long at the moment, too long and I need to tidy up the lace around here so it actually fits my head. As you can see, it's poking out like that. But yeah, other than that, I mean, I'm just stoked I managed to smash this one out as quick as I did. Now, a few of you have been asking me to share how I have support in this dress because obviously I cannot wear a bra with it or else you'd see it in the back. Going into it, I initially was going to add boning and cups to the front section of the dress here and then upon constructing it, I found I didn't actually have to add anything to it because of how thick the curtain fabric ended up being. The way it does up in the back and the way it sits here in the front, it just supports me. I don't know if I just got exceptionally lucky with this, but I didn't have to do anything and I am free balling it under here. There's no tape, no stick on bras, no nothing. It was a stroke of luck and I'm very, very happy about that because I hate using the tape. It hurts and it's extremely comfortable, this whole setup I've got going on. So yeah, don't know if that was just a fluke, but that's how it is. So anyway, if you like this video, please like and subscribe. It really helps me out in the algorithm space. I try and upload a new video every weekend. So be sure to stick around for that. You know, if you really enjoy these things, it's usually crafting, sewing or fun related. Next weekend I am off to the Armageddon Expo where I'm finally going to meet Jack Gleason in my Marjorie dress so I'll be posting videos about that after I've experienced it so I look forward to that in the future too. 
Anyway, thanks guys. Thank you so much for watching and I'll see you next weekend. Bye bye. Ha, ha, ha.